right, y'all. So um, I just filleted a half a side of um, the 30 plus striper that my buddy Jim gave me. And these, man, just for the one side, there's a lot of meat to it. Take a look at this. Okay, so here's what it is. Damn, it's one big slab. Another big slab there, and that's the belly fat right here. And um, yeah, that's the skin right here, guys. It's the striper skin. And that's the uh, the belly side right there. And that's the tail section. Yeah, so here you go. Yep, so that's a clean slate right there. Bam. Got that. And here's the meat right here. That was all right. All right, so here's gonna be our basic ingredients. We're gonna be baking this thing. And um, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put them on this aluminum sheet here. I right, already got the butter in there. We got ourselves this mix of lemon. We got ourselves uh, cilantro, garlic. We got ourselves the um, green onions, chopped garlic, bay leaves, parsley. I'm gonna make my own sriracha sauce from the condensed milk, the sriracha, the mayonnaise, uh, black pepper, garlic salt, and the one that's hiding over here, which is the sesame oil. Stand, stay tuned. Okay, so this is my sriracha sauce right here. This is how I make it from scratch. So we got ourselves our mayonnaise. So we got ourselves um, condensed milk. Um, then we got ourselves some um, sesame oil, sriracha, and then the minced garlic, and then we put ourselves a little bit of parsley flakes there. So the way how I do it is I'm just gonna mix it up, and then it's gonna turn into the uh, orange texture, the orange cream stuff. So you just gotta have to mix it like this. You got the mayonnaise in there, you got the sriracha sauce. So you just gotta have to mix it up and, and now you can smell that over there. With all these ingredients going on all together. Okay. Yeah, everything is manual process here. You know, nothing too fancy. You don't have to be bringing all those expensive kitchen and uh, kitchen gadgets to make this thing. So the only Thing that you have to do here you just gotta make sure you mix all of this all together and turn it into like a paste and then um once you're done with that and since you have all the flavors going on and then you just gotta have to then glaze it over that slab of meat there there you go okay it's kind of bloody but that's how it is and you want them a little bit bloody in there but yeah it's not going anywhere it's clean Okay guys, so here is my homemade shiratsa sauce right here. Okay. So the process that I do after I'm done with that is I'm just gonna glaze it over that strap pass there. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. Just glaze it over. Glaze it over, can't go wrong with it. You don't have to put too much, but if you want them kind of like, you know, simmer all the flavors later on the meat, then just kind of go with that. And then um, I just add all those additional extra ingredients when I'm done with this. Okay, and stand by. There you go. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna wrap this up and bake it. There you go. And I'll let you guys know what it looks like and what it, how it turns out.